Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So let's do a kinematics problem which is little twisted and this will certainly give you some new perspective if you haven't solved such problems earlier. So let's say hypothetically if uh, let's say this is the ground and if I throw a ball then it will try to follow certain trajectory. Okay, So let's say this is trajectory 1. There could be different trajectory if suppose your velocity and angle changes oh, like this, let's say. And there could be another one if suppose we again change the angle. Right? So the question is, for a speed v, what should be the angle theta so that the trajectory length is maximum? So this is the trajectory length the length of the curve that you see here. So this is trajectory length and for what angle this length is going to be maximum. So we already know that for theta equal to 45 degree the range is maximum, right? Now range is defined as the distance that ball covers, right? This distance. So this is maximum when angle theta is 45 degree. Now the same question but we want to find the angle for which the length of the trajectory of the ball is maximum. Okay. So how do we solve such problems? Let's say the angle is theta and we need to find this and at any point let's say after time t if this is x axis and this is y axis then the ball is here. Okay. Let's define the coordinate of this point P as X and Y. Okay. Now this distance and this is happening after time T. So this distance is X, this is Y and X is nothing but let's say the velocity is V given. Okay. So X is V cos theta t and y is v sin theta t minus half g t square, right? So these two things are known and if we increase the time to delta t, okay, let's say this is delta x and this is delta y and time is delta t. Okay. So if delta t is small then we can take this length as a straight line. Okay. Not, not as a curve. Actually it's curve but delta t is so small that delta x and delta y are also very small. Okay. And therefore, delta L is nothing but delta X square plus delta Y square root under. That's delta L, right? Therefore, we can for delta T tends to 0, we can write DL as DX square plus DY square. 1 by 2, okay, and then if we divide it by dt, then it will become dx by dt square plus dy by dt square root under and dt, right? We just divided and multiplied by delta t, and delta t tends to 0. So this is our deal. So this is the length of this small trajectory. Okay. So the total length L dx by dt square plus dy by dt square dt and the time will be from 0 to t. Now what is the time it takes to reach the maximum height? 
that is v sin theta by g so the length here from here to here is going to be half of the total length so we can simply multiply it by 2 and integrate from 0 to v sin theta by g right because to reach max height the time it takes is v sin theta by g right okay so so far so good now what is delta x by delta t so we got the x and y equation here so delta x by delta t is 2 0 v sin theta by g and this will be v cos theta square and delta y by delta t is v sin theta minus g t square d t. By the way, this could also be seen from this point of view. So we know that x is v cos theta t at time t. So x plus delta x will be v cos theta t plus delta t. And similarly, y is v sin theta t minus half g t square at t. And this is at t plus delta t. So y plus delta y is also v sin theta t plus delta t minus g t plus delta t whole square and therefore delta x will be x plus delta x minus x so which will be v cos theta delta t therefore delta x by delta t is v cos theta and delta y will be v sin theta delta t minus if you take t plus delta t square it is t square plus delta t square plus 2 t delta t now delta t is small so delta t square will be even smaller so we can just ignore it so it will become t square minus 2 t delta t so half g t square and g t square will cancel out and what will remain is half g 2 t delta t right so it will become g t delta t and therefore delta y by delta t is v sin theta minus g t okay and that's what we are using here also you can differentiate it all as well but in certain cases uh, this might be handy because uh, many times you won't be able to differentiate then you can simply use this mechanism okay so now uh, we can simplify this further so let's take the v cos theta outside so this becomes 2 v cos theta and here we will have 1 plus sin theta by cos theta minus g by v and into 1 by cos theta yep and dt right so this is 0 to v sin theta by g okay so then this is 2 v cos theta v sin theta by g and this whole thing is 1 plus tan theta minus g t by v cos theta and square d t okay so let's set z equal to tan theta minus g t by v cos theta so this entire thing let's set it to z okay so now let's difference 
shared this z with respect to time so this is dz this will be zero because theta is constant here minus g by v cos theta and this is dt therefore dt is minus v cos theta by g dz l becomes 2 v cos theta and so we can take this v cos theta by g outside there is a minus sign here okay and this becomes 1 plus z square dz and if t is 0 then z is tan theta from here and if t is v sin theta by g then z is tan theta minus g by v cos theta into v sin theta by g and this this and then z becomes zero so we need to integrate it from tan theta to zero okay now there is a minus sign here so we can simply switch it and we can make it 2 v square cos square theta by g 0 to tan theta 1 plus z square dz right okay so for 1 plus z square dz the integral is 1 by 2 z 1 plus z square plus ln 1 plus okay so we can simply reuse this one plus tan square theta is sec theta so sec theta plus ln sec theta plus tan theta so we can further simplify it and make it v square by g if you take cos square theta inside this is sin theta plus cos square theta ln and 1 by cos theta sin theta by cos theta so 1 plus sin theta by cos theta okay now we need to find to find max l for a theta we need to put dl by d theta 0 since this is l total length of the trajectory so if we differentiate this with respect to theta and put it to zero then this will be cos theta minus 2 cos theta sin theta and then 1 plus sin theta by cos theta okay, plus cos square theta and now we differentiate ln 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so 1 by 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so this will be cos theta by 1 plus sin theta and if we take this cos square theta then um, cos theta into cos theta so cos square theta plus 1 plus sin theta and sin theta plus because cos theta differential is minus sin theta okay so here we have cos square theta plus sin square theta is one 
So eventually what we get is 1 plus sin theta by cos square theta. So this is cos theta minus 2 cos theta sin theta ln 1 plus sin theta by cos theta and plus cos q theta by 1 plus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta by cos square theta and therefore we can just take the cos theta common 1 minus 2 sin theta ln 1 plus sin theta by cos theta plus this will cancel out so this will be cos theta 2 minus 2 sin theta ln 1 plus sin theta by cos theta which is equal to 0. So cos theta is not equal to 0 because theta is not equal to pi by 2. Therefore, we get sin theta ln 1 plus sin theta by cos theta equal to 1. And that's the expression for the theta. So we get max arc length or trajectory right for this theta by the way you cannot solve this problem um, usual way so you have to solve it using numerical analysis and the theta that we get is very close to 56.5 degree okay so this is a little more than 45 degree for which you get the maximum range okay i hope you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and like this video and share with your friends thank you very much for watching subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in iit je or other examinations keep up the great work